Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about the problems related to permutations and combinations. In the last sessions, we have discussed about the introduction part of permutations and combinations. Now, in this session onwards, we are going to discussing about the various models of problems related to permutations and combinations. See the first question. Evaluate the two bits are given. One is P of 6, 4 and uh, second one is P of 15, 3. First of all, uh, P of 6, 4, we don't know what it is. Uh, here it is nothing but P of n, r which indicates that n, p, r. P of n, r which indicates n, p, r and in the similar fashion, C of n, r which indicates that n c r c of n comma r is equal to n c r p of n comma r is equal to n p r now it is very easy to calculate the values of a 6 p 4 p of 6 comma 4 which is equal to 6 p 4 first one 6 p 4 what is meant by n p r n p r is nothing but what is the formula of n p r as we know that n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial, right? Here the value of n is equal to 6. 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r, 6 minus 4, that is 2 factorial. 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2 factorial. Now from this uh, 6 factorial, 6 factorial is nothing but it is a continuous product of 6 natural numbers. I will write in a uh, reverse approach uh, nothing wrong in that you can write either forward direction or backward direction 2 factorial means 2 into 1 here 2 into 1 2 into 1 both are cancelled now you can multiply these values here it is 12 4 3 is a 12 12 5 is a 60 60 into 6 uh, 360 360 that is the value of 6p4 6p4 is equal to 360. Here, there is a shortcut method. Every time applying uh, npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. This is a general procedure of solving the question. But every time using the same formula is a little bit of time waste process. In order to avoid that, I will tell you one shortcut method how to calculate uh, npr as well as ncr. First, in this question, I will explain about uh, this NPR. NPR is nothing but here the example is 6P4. Starting from this number onwards, the shortcut is, listen carefully, starting from this number. What is that? 6. 6 onwards, in decreasing order, I have to write 4 numbers. In decreasing order, I have to write 4 numbers. 6, 5, 4, 3. The product of these numbers which will give us 6p4. Starting from this number onwards, I need to write these many numbers in decreasing order as a consecutive numbers. Okay. 6 into 5 into 4 into 3. 4 numbers are there. That is the reason why I have written 4, which is equal to 360. That also gives the same result. This is a shortcut method. I will apply the same shortcut method for the remaining problems also. See here, for this one, P of 15, 3. P of 15, 3, which is nothing but 15, P3. 15, P3. 15, P3 is nothing but what? Starting from 15 onwards. Starting from this number onwards, I need to write uh, four, uh, 3 numbers. I need to write 3 numbers in decreasing order. 15 into 14 into 13. 15 into 14 into 13. That will give us a 15 P3 value. Calculate this value. 15 into 14, which is equal to 210. 210 into 13. Multiply 21 and 13. Here it is 3. And this is 6 plus 1. 7. And this is uh, 2. 2, 7, 3, 0. 2730. That is the product of these three numbers. In this way, you can 
easily calculate NPR value whenever uh, this kind of uh, most of the cases every problem consisting of either permutation calculation or else uh, combination there is a small difference between permutation and combination that i will explain in the next problem see combination here this is about combination c of 11 comma 3 which is nothing but what 11 c3 11 c3 here also what you have to do is uh, starting from this number onwards write three numbers in decreasing order 11 into 10 into 9 this is the answer for 11 p3 but you want the answer for 11 c3 here the relationship between these two is ncr is equal to npr divided by r factorial you need to write in the denominator as this r factorial which is equal to 3 factorial 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1. Now you can cancel these two. 3 threes. And next uh, 2 fives. Uh, 15 into 11. That is 165. 15 into 11 which is equal to 165. That is the answer for first bit. Next second bit. C of 100 comma 98. C of 100 comma 98. Which is nothing but. 100 C 98. Guys, as I already told you, sometimes it is very easy to calculate N C N minus R instead of N C R. Here, N C R is little bit of difficult as compared to N C N minus R. So, what I write is uh, 100 C 98 which is equal to 100 C 2. Why? Because 100 minus 98 which is equal to 2. Now, NCR is equal to NC N minus R. This is a condition. Now, you can write down this value. Starting from 100 onwards, write down two numbers in decreasing order. And in the denominator, this is 2 factorial which is equal to 2. Double 9, double 0. Double 9, double 0 divided by 2 which is equal to 4950. 4950 that is a required answer for this uh, C of 100 comma 98. C of 100 comma 98 is equal to 4950. That is answer. Let's move on to the next question. Find the value of NC3. We need to calculate the value of NC3. If we want to calculate the value of NC3, we must know the value of n what is the value of n if you know this value it is very easy to calculate nc3 if the condition is given as nc7 is equal to nc4 if you observe the condition carefully it is in the form of ncr is equal to ncs it is in the form of ncr is equal to ncs whenever ncr is equal to ncs Either R is equal to S or else N is equal to R plus S. You can use any of those two conditions. But here if you observe carefully R is equal to S is a wrong one. 7 is not equal to 7, 4. So you can use this one. N is equal to R plus S. N is equal to R is equal to 7. S is equal to 4. 7 plus 4 which is equal to 11. The value of N is 11. If you know the value of n, it is very easy to calculate nc3. That is 11c3. 11c3 is nothing but starting from 11 onwards, write down three numbers in decreasing order. 11 into 10 into 9 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. Here it is. You can cancel with 3 table and then you can cancel with 2 table. 2 fives. 3 into 5, 15. 15 into 11, 165. 165 is the value of NC3. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.